Let's start with the side frames. Timber's not cheap right now, so I ripped down two 1.8 metre lengths of decking in half on my bandsaw. Now the key thing that helped me here is having something square as a reference, like this sheet of ply lining, and I held my wood against the edges. I wanted the base to be quite wide, which is why the top of my second piece starts slightly lower. If you wanted, you could start right at the top instead. Then I marked where I needed to cut the bottom off so it would be level on the floor. But before I even moved that, I quickly marked the reference of the top of it on top of that first piece. And if I took it away, I knew exactly where it went. You don't even need fancy tools for this. It was a lovely day, so I just used my handsaw for the rest of it. Then I placed all of them back in the same position. Then I could mirror and copy the angled cut by stacking them on top. And repeating the cut, then pair them all together to drill some bolt holes before threading through coach bolts, washers and nuts as tight as I could, all making sure everything matched and didn't move although I will hacksaw these off later once I'm closer to being finished. Also, to double check they didn't move at all, I temporarily screwed some offcuts on each of the frames. Next, I pre-drilled and screwed a 1.2 meter length back support on. I don't think I'd go much longer than this, but obviously if you want it shorter for a narrower plant stand, feel free. Now I'm transferring the same measurement at the front, but using my right angle to match the height, because this is where my next shelf support is gonna go. Although remember, with it being on an angle, you've got to have the tallest angled piece in line with that reference. Otherwise your shelf is gonna be on an angle. Although don't do my mistake and screw a piece that's the same length as the back, because don't forget that the inner arms of the support are inside. I fast forward to the point where I realized I'd made a mistake and make a quick adjustment. Then for one at the top back, clamps do help when you're doing this on your own. but the next piece was positioned to be my top shelf. Again, exactly the same for the front. In fact, pretty much the whole project, apart from the decking, was off cuts that I had. And providing that the structural are not flimsy, you could use all sorts of things for this to keep the costs down. For the rest of the shelves, I evenly positioned them where I wanted them, and it's up to you how many you want and where you want them. For the cladding, I held two pieces of wood together that will be part of the shelf's cladded frame at the front and the back, so I could work out the length of my cladding pieces. But I added about half an inch so it wouldn't be too tight a fit. Now you'll note that my slats are running front to back. If you wanted, you could have them running the other way and add some supports on the frame itself. But the reason I chose this is because I could use a lot more offcuts up. And because the shorter, the less likely to bow. 110, let's reduce it by two centimetres, a centimetre, a centimetre either side, so I've got 108. Two buttons, 108. Scrap that, we're gonna go with 103 and a half centimetres because this is the shorter piece and I wanna use it up. Then for the fun part, nailing them together. To save me from doing some maths, I just nailed the outer ones first, then the middle one, and then work out centre of each of those pretty much. And then the last few, I just eyeballed what looked right to speed through it. Nice. For the middle shelf, I found more of the same slats. It's, it's all right, that. For the third one though, I ran out of the same wood. So I moved on to some skirting board rejects. And I felt like these could bow in the middle and a compromise was I found some more offcuts again, placed them underneath, meeting halfway between one of the slats, nailed them on and cut them flush. I could have gone with a fourth shelf where the bottom supports were, but I felt like this was more than enough and I could put some storage under there if needed. I screwed through the shelf's end and that support end to fix them in place and some at the front. Now for the boring part, going over it with a wood preserve it really does help listening to music and that it's a sunny day. And just when I thought I was ready to do the thumbnail with some plants on, this happened. Oh. It's obviously going to depend on where you can have it and what kind of plants you have on the top, but I added more off-cut skirting on the front, do a wobble test, nope, still not happy, then grabbed a piece of pallet wood out of my shed and marked and cut them to fill them in at the sides. You just never know when these offcuts could be useful. Would you have designed this differently? And where would you use your plant stand?